Welcome back to Out of My Head, the podcast where we dive into the intricacies of entrepreneurship, branding, and the personal challenges of running a small business. Today's episode focuses on the power of branding and how it can significantly influence profitability, especially for boutique and small business owners. Let's begin with a fascinating example that really highlights the the sheer strength of what a brand truly is. I want you to to consider the iconic Nike swoosh. It's a symbol that is recognized globally by both male and females. Every single person you know of can point out the Nike swoosh from a crowd, right? So I want you to imagine taking a simple, unbranded Aldi or Costco water bottle and placing the Nike swoosh on it. What happens next is quite remarkable. The price of this water bottle can then be tripled, yet remarkably its demand also increases. This phenomenon isn't just about a logo though. It's about the value that people associate with that logo. When people see the Nike swoosh, they don't just see a design. They see a legacy of quality, of athleticism, and prestige. This example beautifully illustrates the concept of brand value. And I know the next question that a lot of people are thinking and are asking themselves is, how can we quantify this? And it's it's the difference in price between a commoditized product and its branded counterpart. A plain water bottle versus a Nike branded water bottle, the price gap between these two is a direct measure of the brand's power and of its marketing power. For small business owners, understanding this concept is crucial because it truly demonstrates that that the value of a brand far exceeds the physical features of the product that you're selling itself, right? It's at that point about perception and emotion and association. For those of us that are in the world of retail and where we're selling products, and particularly those in the boutique and small business sectors, this is an invaluable lesson. The goal is not just about to create a product or a service. It's about building a brand that resonates with our audience. It's about creating positive associations that make your brand stand out in a crowded marketplace. And so the next question is then, how the heck do we achieve this, right? And so first and foremost, I think it's really important that you understand your audience. Understanding your audience is key. Who are they? What do they value? What are their aspirations? Your brand should be a direct reflection of these insights. Because it's not just about selling a product. It's about connecting with your audience on a much deeper level. When your brand aligns with your customers and your audience's values and aspirations, at that point you then create loyalty. And loyalty is the bedrock of profitability within your business. And so I think I would be doing you a disservice if we didn't touch on consistency. And so I think it's important to know that branding is not a one-off effort. It's a continuous process that demands consistency. Every interaction that your audience has with your brand, be it through your product, your website, email, TikTok, social media, or, or customer service, that should reinforce the same message and values that your brand stands for. And this consistency is what will build trust. And trust is what transforms first-time buyers into lifelong customers. But here's something that I think we often overlook in the hustle of running a business, and that's authenticity. In a world where where consumers are constantly being bombarded with advertising and marketing, authenticity really stands out. It's about being genuine in your communication. 
and true in your values and, and honest about what your brand represents and what it doesn't. When your audience feels this authenticity, they connect with your brand on a deeper and emotional level. And this emotional connection is what transforms a functional transaction into a meaningful relationship that allows for your customers to spend thousands and thousands of dollars with you. But let's also consider the role of storytelling and branding. A compelling brand story can be an insanely powerful tool. It's not just about what you sell, but also the story behind it. Why did you start your business? What challenges did you overcome? What are your values? What challenges are you still overcoming? These stories make your brand relatable and also memorable. They give your audience something to connect to and and something to really hold on to beyond just the product itself, right? Because at the end of the day, like, it is just a t-shirt. Like, it is just a doormat. It is just a custom tumbler. Like, it's just stuff. It's just stuff that your customers are buying. It's stuff that they're filling their houses with. And, like, at the end of the day, it's junk. And so you've really got to merge that storytelling in with the product itself. And so in the journey of branding, especially for small businesses, challenges are inevitable. Limited resources, having insane competition, and rapidly changing market trends These are all just a few hurdles that you may experience, but I want you to remember that the strength of a brand doesn't just solely depend on the size of your budget. It's also about how effectively you can connect with your audience. It's about finding creative ways to to convey your message and your values. And so I want to wrap up this episode by just saying that I want you to leave with this thought. Branding is not just a business strategy. It is the heartbeat. It is the soul of your business. It's what sets you apart. It's what makes you memorable. And it's what builds a lasting connection with your audience. In the world of boutique and small businesses, where every single customer counts, a strong brand is your greatest asset. And so I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I thank you so much for joining me on this journey through the nuances of branding. I want you to remember that it's not just about the product. It's about the story you tell and the connections that you make. So until next time, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep building those brands that speak directly to the hearts of your customers. This is out of my head. Thank you for joining me. Stay inspired, stay motivated, and keep pushing the boundaries of what your brand can achieve.